The, the Pika uh, farm has been operating since 1904, so we're going on 100, we're on 111 years. Uh, three generations with our kids, us and my kids, uh, four generations. The, the Pika homestead is just right here across the street, and we're farming ground that my grandparents were farming on over 100 years ago, so that's, uh, that's really something. So when it came down to canneries kind of uh, filtering out and leaving the area, Valley Packers was one of the last the packing canneries around. Uh, they wanted to leave a mark and then they wanted to represent what the culture of this valley was like back then. And so they needed, they wanted to make a statue and they wanted to give that as a gift to the community. Well, they needed a model or kind of a, someone to represent that. and. Um, dad was the person that they chose because they liked the way that he respected the industry, he uh, respected people, the quality that he produced, and uh, what it meant to this valley. And so to have his statue representing the whole farming industry and what it was like back then, that's an honor. I think it's important that as um, Dan and I continue to farm, we try to remember um, how it was, how he kept it, and how he was respected because of how he kept his fields. And my goal is to always be at that point. And do we always succeed? No, but I think we do a pretty good job. It becomes pretty hectic at times. So if it's during a school school day, we'll be out here to uh, start the crew at around 5 o'clock, 5.15, and we'll just make sure things kind of get going and we get our orders taken care of for the day and know where people are going. And then we'll head over to We'll do our school jobs and we'll do that and try to stay in communication with the field and what's going on and then we'll come back afterwards. During the peak, the pickers uh, usually arrive before five in the morning. Of course, we have long days and so we begin by 5.15 in the morning. We have a crew out today of about 35 pickers and uh, depending on our order, we will pick six, maybe six hours uh, each day. It's seven days a week. We have a very, very good relationship with our, with our crew. We have a very loyal Vietnamese community that has been with us for decades. And it goes back to when our first uh, influx of uh, immigrants from Vietnam came over after the Vietnam War in the mid-1970s. And we've had uh, some crew members together now for upwards of 20, 30 years, and uh, we feel very fortunate to, to, to have them as a part of our, our, uh, our farm family. Yeah, it might be a little too early. It's, uh, I might fall asleep on the truck out here. So challenges for the um, farm. Every year kind of presents its own. Uh, some years we can battle with uh, lots of rain. There's been years where we've had not enough pickers. There's been years that we have kind of too many pickers. There's been years where the fruit uh, has been really good. We've been pleased with how the fruit is overall this year uh, in the weather, but there, there's been other years where we've had um, maybe weevil issues. Uh, this year is going to present some interesting issues and that is because of the dry spring. Um, we're constantly checking our young crops day to day just to see how they're doing with the moisture level on the ground. Trying to figure out ways to irrigate because we haven't irrigated in the past. We've never had to for pumpkins or for our young berries so we're going to have to start being creative in how we do that because we don't have wells or ways to irrigate out of here. So. Uh, that will present some challenges. I, growing up on a farm, um, there are great moments, there are challenging moments, that's of course in anything you do, but uh, being outside, uh, being with some great people, uh, producing a product that people are happy about, whether it's strawberries in the, and raspberries in the spring, summer, or pumpkins in the fall, uh, people usually smile uh, with those products that are being produced and look forward to, to um, we look forward to harvesting them and selling them and it's, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun. It's been it's a good lifestyle. Dan and I work hard to do our best to make sure that the public gets a good berry, they know what they're getting, they're happy with what they get, it's fresh every day. 
um, but every year presents many challenges. And so um, our goal is just to be as consistent and kind of drive through as much as we can. I think that um, if you grow up with farming, it, uh, it it's kind of sticks in your blood. 